13 frags and the second highest on the board for my own team. Like There needs to be more guys having their impact. And I'm looking towards you young guns. I'm looking towards you star players as being the elements to try and tip it over the line for us because now it is do or die for Spirit. You have to win Vertigo else your time in Pro League will be done. And it would break all the ties that would leave probably Fnatic and, uh, and Na'Vi up in that uh, next two and three spots. So again, massive implications for how things will work out in the group itself. It's Pistol round for the CT side. Vitality up by one on their own map pick. Spirit have been good in Pistols. Two for two when it comes to the last map. Can they do it again? Can they get off to a good start? Vitality bringing a lot of pace down towards this A side, but it might just be a five on five retake. A lot of respect being given up here from the CIS squad. Yeah, initial pistol spam from Spirit. Tried to hold Vitality away, but now that they hear that bomb's coming down, set up the retake smokes. Flash is also inbound from two individuals. One out first and foremost. Second one catches Spinks, who sees a myriad of CT players. Gets only one for one of the trade. Dupree trams back in of his own right. Patsy and Wonderful uh, and Magic's actually even combining together alongside Siren's duel. He's leaving Apex alone. Spamming away. 1v3. Gets the first. No more than that. The defuse will come through as Siren gets the pistol. Pistol gods, spirit, three from three yeah. now. And this this could be their way in. Being able to find the pistol, get a start going. But think back to what happened on Nuke, especially in that second yeah. half. We saw spirit win the pistol, but then they lost the anti-force by for Vitality. They got four kills, or three kills, I should say. They got a bomb plant as well. You're going to try and be buying it up. You're going to try and put that pressure straight on. And even Zybu being presented that AK immediately. Got to remember as well, Spirit also lost the conversion on their CT side of Nuke, so already bad signs coming up for them in the follow-up round. Could, of course, still lead to the conversion, and that's ultimately what they're looking for, to try and deny Vitality's second round confidence that they've demonstrated in this series so far. But it starts off with Apex's scout getting two shots to one off, one of which was a wall bang, a kill found alongside Patsy going drop-in. So once again, it's Vitality with a start out on the ramp default. Seems like the steal is just inevitable now for Spirit. Mm. This is a very difficult position to be in. And I think you just have to gamble, Stack. I think you've got to send three players over to A or three players over to B. You can't really make info plays. You're down by a couple of players. Vitality have pretty much got complete ramp control now. The scout playing Overwatch. Two rifles on either side joined by two more teammates. So the entire force is here. Vitality... They're slow walking their way forward. Chopper spraying and Zaiwu gets his pick for it. Apex continuing to tag away, continuing to find the shots that he needs to set up the players like Zaiwu to get his kills in. Quadra in this round to kickstart his own game and continue to extend upon the incredible numbers that he had from Nuke. Remember, Zaiwu was the man of the hour. 29 picks on Nuke first and foremost. And well, he's well on his way to that right here on map two. And that's just poor coming through from Spirit. Not even a single kill being found in round two. And you think about that sort of sequence. Bomb plant goes through. They know what happened on Nuke. They've got to expect the buy up. And instead, they're just peeking ramp dry. There's no deep ramp smoke. There's no flashes behind them. Apex spots the first player getting over towards the scaffolding, over to that tarps position. And then behind the molly, they spam down the second. The Spirit just letting so many early advantages within the first 15, 20 seconds of that round just disappear. Reduce the pistols on a force by once again. We've seen this time and time again from Spirit so far in this series. Two of these uh, frags can go their way as they put a lot more emphasis on the ramp default. Not quite as much aggression and vision being given up to Vitality. Play behind the sandbags and behind the uh, harder cover of the alley. Eventually setting up to a five-man stack here towards the A half of the map. B site is completely opened up. Maydisk has made some noise drawing attention away as Patsy also forces his way downstairs. Dupree will force him back though and keep Vitality and Spirit at bay. We saw Patsy having an incredible performance against Endpoint only a few days ago. Zywu with these entries up towards the B site. At least there's a stack involved. Molotov set in and then to continue pushing around the corner. Wonderful down low alongside Chopper. Sphinx gets his kill in. Molotov sent up and over. And Zywu trying to play entry. Does get involved in this one as the nays land. And the players start dropping like flies. A backstab in theory could present itself from Patsy. And actually it does come together against Sphinx's own part. He doubles up in fact. Making an expensive round for Vitality. But one that goes the way of Vitality nonetheless. 
And this is where it's almost like a broken record, right? The round's expensive. It's economical damage. Where is that break? We were searching for it in so many rounds on Nuke. We saw the Ecos being very successful. Bring it down to the wire, nearly winnable, really targeting the economy. But we never saw that break. And this is where I'm almost positioning Vitality to be in a state where even if things do get expensive, even if things get a little bit wacky on the Ecos, their defaults have been so strong on the rifle rounds that it's never really put themselves in a dangerous position. The spirit here in this next round, the follow-up stack into the USP is getting overwhelmed at this one, so it looks like all that damage being done. Just make itself back up with a very easy round without a casualty on the board of the T side line. Celebrations on their own right here. The Vitality side, a 3-1 start comes in for them. Spirit up to the guns here. The up the M4s, as standard as you would expect. And now the time to clap back and take back the control that they rightfully deserve off the back of that pistol. Vitality have been very strong on Vertigo since bringing Spinks into the lineup. 16 to 4 against G2, 16 to 12 against Endpoint, and 16 to 8 against NIP so far in this group. Their only loss being a 16 14 loss over to G2. And in that time, we have seen Spinks averaging a 1.34 rating across those four maps. What's well, set in? Flashes at the ready of Apex here. Slow peeking from Vitality. He's getting set up initially through the uh, the dry faces down below the stairs. Only one man to contest them at the moment for Spirit. The other man's backed off all the way back passive and playing double duty in mid for Siren. Spirit are currently ranked last in the event on their CT side for the highest round win percentage in 5v4s. Something they've got to try and recorrect coming here onto Vertigo in this first half is if advantages do present itself, closing the round down. Race through against the smokes, the nades coming out, doing no damage from the T side. They're trying to force out a mistake from Spirit, but so far none's being given up. Exhausting a lot of utility now and very little to go with the execution with. And they've got a lot of players quite aggressive towards the top of the stairs. And now Magis is completely alone here towards the back of the quad position. Even the rotate could be fairly slow. Siren's starting to move away towards City Spawn now. 30 seconds remaining. The push starts up now. Smokes inbounds. Down towards the left hand of the generators. The nades also on towards quad. Magic's getting caught off. Goosh to 64 and flashed out of the way here. The bomb should get access to the Psy. The engagement's towards mid. Gonna leave Zywu for dead as Wonderful gets involved. And the bomb should get planted for a 4 and 4 retake. You wonder if this is a save. No util, no kit, and a lack of armor for Wonderful. Oh, Magic's going down. It certainly seems likely now. Chopper also falling to Sphinx. Patsy swung upon with the dry faces. You say lack of util for Spirit. Similar story for Vitality. Didn't see a single flash in any of those fights, but still they all went their way. And Spirit, well, now, now down to four to one. And I look at that stance, and I feel as if Spirit needed to get out of there so much quicker than what they actually did. They needed to be on the money there. And because they go quite passive, they kind of lean a little bit more of a stack towards A. They only get a one for one in mid. With what they had behind them, there was just no way that retake was going to present itself. That shows me signs of desperation very early on here in Vertigo. Wonderful, just trying to survive here. Spinks right oh, around that corner no. and he's dead. That's the right reaction to have there, Dweg. Oh, no, because that was Worst the only outcome. thing that Spirit could have held into this next round. The only crutch they could have stood on because it would have been USPs across the rest of the board. Maybe um, upgrade pistols to justify around that AWP. There will still be some out here and now. But just that's the main weapon that Spirit could have had taken right out of the fold. And well, Vitality, you know that they're going to get an easy round for it. Now on the eco, how much really gets granted? Got to remember this time around, there's not actually a healthy amount of upgrades. If you maybe had that AWP in play around a few deagles with some armor, you could probably give it a little bit more backing. Already that opening spam out towards the B site goes the way of Magisk. Yeah, T side opening start again. May just going to continue pressing the issue out towards this uh, stairs position. He's got one player to find. He's going to get him as well. Spray might be a bit long in that case, but it still comes up with a frag. Two for nothing on the trades. And a couple of trades back and forth from the CT side here towards Ram, but nothing that the Vitality side can't deal with. One on three now for Siren. 
And anything that he's looking for here is going to be a positive. A kill, a saved in weapon, something to gain come the next round. And for Vitality, this is the ultimate start on your map pick. Four to one, which is then going to be five to one. It's dictating a lot of pace, a lot of opening success when it comes to the jewels. Zywu and Apex finding some form. Haven't even really seen the AWP. Spirit. They need to get locked on quickly. And looking back at Nuke, I actually saw a lack of tactical pauses. I hope that doesn't come into the fold here on Vertigo as well. One plant's coming down, and maybe it might be a nice time to think about that. May even be some discussions in the canvas spirit for this post part of the round. There's nothing the Siren can really do. Maybe hunt for an exit. You mentioned that Chopper obviously would be in that position in the in the break to discuss the the prospects of of, of a change of turnaround here on this map. You can do the same thing right here and now with not much action. Siren taking his pop shot and just not getting anything out of it, so they will fall back. Five to one on the board. That's five in a row for Vitality. It's similar to how things went down on Nuke. Spirit got the start. They had their four to two lead and then started turning back for Vitality from there. This time, a much earlier comeback, turning into a much earlier lead for Vitality's team. And just imagine how happy someone like Apex and Zonic would be with a clean sheet. A five and oh, a good performance, because we, we spoke about it when this game started. Vitality are already locked in first place. Whether this is a win for them, whether it's a loss for them, they still come first. So pressure's kind of off your back, you know. Oh, it's not it's not vital if we win this game or not. If they're able to show the level of form they did in the first map and bring it here into the second and have one of the most one-sided performances yet, that fear factor of Vitality in the playoffs has to be there. Be it fear or be it unconfidence, be it just the fact that they're checked out of this series already and whatever the circumstances are, Spirit are down the margins and Vitality. Happy with that, they can take control of the situation. Continue to dominate here on Vertigo. Guns back out again, Spirit, with their best chance to try and mount up an offensive against the T side. And it'll be a decent start past those smokes, nades down on Zywu in particular. It's concerned for the frag potential because look at both sides' numbers here. It's so far gone for Vitality already. This is looking much better, though. Good protocol down here towards the bottom of ramp. Deep ramp smoke. Couple of HE placements. Wonderful. Looking to get that AWP into a high impact zone. Some damage done to Chopper here. The sprays of the AKs. The AWP looking for gaps in the smoke. Actually does find one against Dupree. That's all important for Wonderful. Patsy also engaging past tarps. Tanking damage. But finding Apex and the bomb. A 5v3. So far better from Spirit in this scenario. But Vitality will still bite back. Grab that bomb and fall away. They've still got some time to work with. They don't really have any B site presence. And it's actually very deep across the B site. Even Magus is just starting to get into position now. Behind the girl is going to watch past the crack angle. See the flashes inbound. Actually, a smoke coming down there instead. A flash goes over to the wide side. Chopper out in the open with Siren at the crossfire. And the lockout comes in from the CT forces. Siren, in fact, makes it a triple. And it will be a second round of Fall the Spirit squad. A much better basis to work from. Three AK saves. The potential now gets higher. But now it's the case of following it up. And that gives me quite a bit of confidence. I like the way that Spirit played that towards the top of ramp. They've got a lot of util behind them, cross-firing off one another, applying pressure, get wonderful towards the top of that sort of scaffolding position. You also allow Patsy to get quite down low on the tarps, really trying to put into the fold. And just that utility damage really chipped further forward to really help them out. Confident base for Spirit to work with. Now to convert into the next round. Wonderful already starting things off so well. Patsy behind the tarps. Head of the smokes. They are aware of what's going on here. The sprays back and forth will eventually lead towards a kill for the T side. But Wonderful quick to make his way back up and find a pre. Four on three. And he's even hunting for Apex around this corner. He'll be and Wonderful will now make it three. And this is what we're looking for already. Per just going past the amount of kills that you found on that first map here on the second. Triple kill up on the A defensive. Util going down, giving more information of the rap take. A vitality down to two. Very difficult position to recover. Two on four scenario. Wonderful. Still stuck around here and all. Warp standing. AK sprays back and forth for the wall banks of both sides of things. And aids 
Landing on the boost for Magisk, so not ideal. Molotov sent up as well to try to drive them back out of the alley position, so it might be still be an attemptive here from Vitality. Got cash to go for it, so why not? Spirit, however, they're in full control of this. Wonderful with the orb, gonna get tested again. Oh, what oh. another great shot that is from him. Can he get the ace? Spinks is putting ace towards him. Ten points of health, but he lands his one bullet, and that's all he requires. Full ace for wonderful, first in this series, and Spirit are back in control. We have a game on our hands now, Dweg. It seems like it, and Vitality want to make sure that that is not the case. Get that tactical in early, realize we lost a lot to Wonderful. They try to send Zywu up very pacey towards the top of Rab, didn't really find the impact he's looking for towards that sandbox position, and then Wonderful just moving around on the site, finding so much towards the alley entrance, back over towards Orange, and that has got to be the first round I think we've really seen from Wonderful where it's been an eye-opener. It's been a surprise to say, geez, okay, now we know why they picked him up. It's a play that forces Vitality to take a tactical, losing two in a row, and two very confident rounds of that for Spirit. They recognize the basis has been built, even if it is still a shaky bit of foothold here for the Spirit squad. Vitality will need to end it before it builds to anything stable. Two rounds to make up for the CT forces, and now that they've got a couple of good rounds in them, it can start to get out of control here. The two AKs are still in the Siren and Chopper, and Wonderful's Warp has not stopped. Nade stacks on Patsy, might throw a spanner into the works, but Vitality have been forced to slow down. Starting to really get involved now. See the pick coming through from the top of Crane. A lot of util can, te can te test that ramp position. Magis over towards the B site, just trying to get a lurk, create an entry, some level of opportunity. Even Spink slow walking to create that walk out towards mid. The Spirit have got the opening man advantage and they've held on to it. And you're bursting and firing. Nades from Wonderful trying to keep them at bay even longer. All right, take back out to the back site and leave A eh? relatively open for the taking. It'll be a case of getting another good kill and waiting for the retake. I'm assuming Vitality want to go here. Dupree certainly has that inkling. The AK looking up without utility support. He's got a smoke he can use, but no teammate to set up a flashbang or anything. Spinks going to strike out towards mid and wonderful stinking of that rotation. It's all a case of timing here. That's a massive kill, just to come through from Spinks. Just especially when there's so much time left on the clock, you start getting spirits second-guessing themselves. Wonderful, if he gets baited into over-peaking, getting out towards Orange, that could just be him to fall. And Dupree's found himself in a spot that if they start retaking that ramp control, he can be there to just be the foothold of the defense. Now Wonderful's got backup in Chopper. Nades and smokes, blind fire from the AWP, and the AK works out pretty well. Major's down at 18 HP, Dupree barely seen above the smoke. will try to line him up, but won't get a kill for it. Four on three now for Spirit here, and they continue to press it. Major's is so low, the bomb needs to go down. Behind some harder cover, wallbang attempts will not work out for the AWP or the AK, and Vitality will set up for the post plant. And this could be where we need to see a big round from Spinks. The further Util is going to waste the time. Spirit bringing a lot of players over towards this back of site position. No one backstabbing in from Ram. Apex playing anti-flash here. One does go out for the CT side. That's their last bit of Util. Checking out the back corner. Apex up close and personal. Gets a kill. Turns on Siren, but Chopper gets him back. Spinks trades on one. Only one. Magisk alone. 18 HP, but there's no time on the clock. Siren checks it. Headshot found. Wonderful. Being stalled out here connects his kill but as he got time for the diffuser a little bit late to sticking it but i think you'll hold this round indeed it will be a fourth for spirit wonderful stepping up when it matters the most on that trading game close range with the awp and spirit start bringing back the deficit one round to even it up now vitality being tested on that post plant playing a man down and you start wondering to yourself, we saw on Nuke right that early portion, the first five, six rounds of the map really being contentious. This is now starting to feel like it could be more than that. It could actually spread to the entire half. And that spirit catching up. Conceding a bomb plant, sure, and losing a lot of cash of their own affair, but now the scoreline can tip to their favor if they continue to hold on to these rounds, which Magics will do with great effect against Apex. Dupree, however, chiming right back. Siren Utility down to suppress entryways. Smokes and Molotov's gaps within them to try and exploit here, but no further kills go their way. A four on four. Gonna be a double pump here from Vitality. Not really many over rotates. Still two defenders out towards B, but they're keeping eyes towards ramp. They're thinking that this could be a fake. Molotov sent back behind, quad nades in. 
dish out their damage. The AKs now start facing. Siren turned away from two flashes, catching him blinded. Chopper completely unaffected, though. So Siren gets out of dodge, and Chopper will finally get caught off for it. Flash support assist to the kill. Four on three with a post plant. Both players caught off. Dupree still wins out a triple. Wonderful chimes in with one, but no more. Spinks there to put him down and get Vitality back in the sixth. And there's that reset. Patsy doesn't have money. Magix is the same. How do you play this? Do you want to try and force the issue? Flash assists were absolutely quality in that round. Think about those B site anchors and what a tough time you're having. You're trying to play out towards the right hand side of the generators. You fall back deeper towards spawn and you just keep getting hit one after the other. Spirit have decided to force down, but think about this. No AWP with that Kevlar for Wonderful. No kit and a lack of you two in the round. Such a great basis there with those flash assists. You're right about the utility placement. Setting Dupree up for that triple. The Siren again strikes first for Spirit. They've been doing still with a chance to frag back because they haven't lost any other HP outside of Majesk. Siren's tradable with the five on four is still in effect. And in my money, if Vitality win this round, I think they win the best of three. Like, it's still very early on, but it's knowing how strong their CT side has been in the couple of games that we've seen from them in the group stage, and even what we've seen in previous events, that they win this round, they reset the economy hard, and they put Spirit in a very uncomfortable position. And smoke's going down. Pressing one of the entryways, Magics can still hear them. The premium while challenging Patsy, who wins out another fight for Spirit. A five on three, turn to two as Sphinx drops in mid. And look how close Magix is getting to them and all. Vitality are forced to fall away. Falling back out towards spawn for what looks to be a save here. Off the, off the back of such a great execution as well with the previous round. It looks so solid from them. And this is the complete opposite. Disappointing there from Vitality because I think they would have known that the economy was on the ropes and it was theirs for the taking, that they were up against a weakened look and buy. And think about that opening man advantage that he's able to find. Patsy and Wonderful then rotating back over from that A site into mid to help out on B, catch off some of the mid players too. And Apex and Zybu's just got no other option but to hold on to these last couple of rifles. Round being won, rifles recovered from the spirit side and of course no casualties they'll be very happy with that spirit trying to make this competitive looked like it was going to turn into another disaster half like it did over on nuke but this one has started to come together for them and again they're within one of equalizing against vitality the rifles are out for both squads ak saved again by one individual from spirit with the two side weapons Vitality brought down around. Lacking in the, quite the amount of utility, particularly on Dupree. As Patsy leans in close again towards the ramp default. Sees nothing. That's a very good info spot. Just for him to jiggle further forward of that smoke and then start backing off. A siren out from mid, just waiting for that boost up to come in. Ends up falling and returning. Chopper could be that mid player for now. The spirit, opportunity to tie up the scoreline now. Falling back. Cindy posted up. Suppression involved. Molotovs sent in with Dupree looking up and over. Siren is waiting. M4 in hand. Flash is going over. Nothing else being seen. They continue walking their way up to this position. Try and answer back to split that bomb in towards the A site. Patsy fires away. Fires a couple of kills. The flash is good, but at least Dupree's there for the trade. Yeah, Patsy out of ammo, but Siren from beyond the smoke again extends, gets his kill back. A noise being made here on the stairs, leaving Zai Wu to get his pick onto Magix. Okay, B's been opened up. The bomb can cross, but it's got to be the Orpa to get the plant. Haven't really seen a Zai Wu special so far in this half. This is the opportunity for him to step up. Man advantage for Spirit, but very winnable here for Vitality. Looking at the crack angles, no backstab inbound from the CT. Zai Wu's just got to turn his attention to the stack here. Looks back in towards spawn where Siren's on the way in. Double nades on Magic, so he's still alive. Zywu with a kill found. Magus continues to tap away. 28 HP on Chopper, 16 on Siren. The health bar's so low. The nades almost taking out the CTs themselves. And as Chopper drops, it's all on Siren now. Orp trying to face the Orp of Zywu, but won't even get a crack at the angle. Won't even see Magus on his way out. Save call in for the Orp. And Vitality continue to fend off Spirit. 
And Vitality have just shown us this sort of flair, right? That they can be in post plants and still come through in disadvantages if they've got players alive like Zaiwu, like a Sphinx, that can just make something happen out of nowhere. You saw him aggressing out into the open, looking up towards that Guardian position and playing time, playing off one another. That's so unfortunate with that HE placement close towards the generators that does so much team damage. Another tactical coming through from Vitality. They get a crucial round and now they know if we come through here, we might find 10-5. We might be able to replicate what we did on the first map. Entirely plausible. But the way that Spirit are playing right now is a much more competitive 10-5 if it ends up like that. Especially if these next few rounds come down to the wire. Any further than this, though, would make it a far better half than how it ended in the first half of Nuke. That'd be even more encouraging for the Spirit squad. Just knowing that for Spirit, they've pulled through in these sort of rounds previously. Think about when the economy's really been on the ropes and they haven't had the full buy. They have still been able to find success. Four players towards ramp, early round for Spirit. This is something a little bit different. Put a lot of early nades in, rotate that fourth player back over to mid, but it's quick from Vitality. Free leading the charge in towards mid and Siren gets caught off for it for Master of Magics, goes down as well. Two-man advantage, Vitality are into this B site, will waste no time getting the plant. And for Spirit, uh, there's nothing left in it. And the best example that you can drive from that sort of setup is something like Dust 2, right? Where you bring four players over towards long and you get hit B. It's one of those cases where if you bring mass players to take ramp and you're getting rushed elsewhere, you're going to have such a difficult time adjusting to that protocol because you just don't have the numbers there. Yes, they rotated that fourth player away from A back towards mid, but it's how quickly players are out into the open. You can't help the B defense there at all. It's an overwhelming structure of pace there for Vitality, and it's a perfect call against the setup for Spirit where they wanted to bring so many men to ramp. Gives up the half to the international squad. Eight to five. It was looking so promising at the start of things as well. Spirit were winning so many great opening frags at the start of these rounds and it just hasn't been able to be replicated in the latest few. Not to mention the quick pace that Vitality are bringing to the table. They suffered to that on Spirit when they were bringing it out on Nuke. And here we stand on Vertigo with a very similar story just in reverse. Now down to USPs for Siren and Magics on round 14. I like that they didn't force around what they saved in. You've got to take this as a half by present as much opportunity round 15 as possible. AWP looking for that opening duel out towards mid. Good shot for Wonderful. Barely even an elbow peeking out the left hand side, the pre. Bring up his life. Now Patsy with Siren support right behind him. The nades coming out, so it's a stack that completely evaded. They'll charge that corner, and Sphinx almost deals with him. Siren gets that kill and an AK upgrade for the M4 of Magics as well. So a 4v2 spirit might still find a steal. Just get caught sleeping out there in mid. You've got Apex with his knife out. Sphinx just waiting for the boost, not really looking the right way at all. And it felt as if Vitality just kind of dropped the ball and didn't think that they would be aggressed towards that area. That up. Magisk is forced away. Back up towards CT spawn. The flashes in towards Elevator. Zywoo is going to get caught. And it's an AK versus four from Vitality. And they were not expecting this. I don't think any of us were expecting this round to go the way of Spirit, but it has. Two kills for Wonderful. Two kills for Siren on a USP. He deserves a lot of credit for that round. He definitely does. And it was all the setup. It was the idea that Wonderful pressed himself in quite an aggressive sight line with that AWP. He finds this first connection, very tight angle indeed onto Dupree. And then it's what happens after the fact. The slow walk crunch down there in the mid control, the USPs being able to find a lot of success. And for Vitality, what was looking like double digits at the turn of the half will not come through. Nine will be at maximum. Unset in the vitality for round 15. Of course, enough cash in the bank to buy down, lacking in a couple of the areas, particularly Apex on that Galil. But at least they have the rifles for the final round of the half, and it could have been far worse for Spirit in this case, so Vitality haven't got much right to complain. Wonderful leading the charge on this CT side. The only player to be double digits. Definitely feels like a mirror image to what happened on Nuke, where it was Chopper being the only one. Patsy slow walking out towards ramp into the AWP, but still catches Zywoo off guard. 
Pre chimes back though, Patsy's down. Magisk versus Magix here in Cyndia. It's put up a K moving in. Magix gets his kill. Spray back against Spings. Does not quite find much of it himself. Back and forth damage to overall three versus three as Dupree does find one out towards the top. And Magix eventually falls to Apex's Molotov. Siren and Chopper. Last two players as Chopper gets domed. And it's all on Siren to clutch a 1v3. The B site has fallen. It will be a retake for round 15. So much success out towards that B site. And you just felt as soon as that incendiary went down, there was just nothing that Magic could do in that position. Siren's the last one left. The bomb's about to get planted over towards B. And this is just an un vision or, or control of the B site as they might have thought. But those are all vain hopes and dreams for Siren. He's going to quickly realize that it will be a retake. It will be on the B site. And he will not have much of a hope in hell at trying this. He will go for it, of course. There's no sense in saving, but it's the case of the likelihood of the outcome. Even out towards the B stairs, it's being watched first and foremost. And he has to find a kill almost immediately. Checking all the corners and the common boost angles. Oh, what a headshot on Dupree. Flashes at the ready with half the time up remaining. Got a kit in as well. Turning away from it. Player on the center with a side behind the double boxes. Player on the outside of the site. And Spinks will put him down. Headshot perfect for the 9-6 half. Vitality holding control despite Spirit's mini comeback. It will all turn towards their favor after the break.
Vertigo is the best map in the pool for CT side. A round win percentage of 64.8 for Vitality. Out of all of the maps, this ranks number one, and surely that is a good sign. Now moving on to their CT side. My main concern here, Jay, is the pistol rounds. Keep in mind, three for three for the Spirit Boys. They've always had that one up above Vitality throughout the course of this series, but the other side of the coin is the fact that the conversion rounds have either been lost or been very, very difficult mm. victories for the Spirit side. So even if they get the pistol, it might not mean much here on the T-side half. It would at least be a start in the half that might give Spirit an opportunity to bring something back against Vitality. Only three rounds separate the two squads, which is a closer scoreline than what we saw over on Nuke, but it was in that second half where Vitality took full control of map one. And what is wild to me is out of any player on this spirit side in the last three months when it comes to Vertigo, Wonderful's actually the least highest rated player, only averages a 1.06 rating in the game against 00 Nation, in the game against Endpoint, and he's come out here today, and I think he's led by far when it comes to this map, opening man advantages, multi-frags, we saw that massive ace from him over towards the A side, so it's a lot of positive signs from Wonderful, but is it positive signs for the team, knowing that statistically, he's always more so towards the bottom of the board, and we normally look like guys at Chopper, and Patsy, and Magix to step up on maps like vertigo well it's encouraging the idea that wonderful has gone from bottom fragger of his team in the last map to top fragger of his team in this in this map and considering that we were saying that he is one of the guys to watch out for for spirit it's, it's encouraging on that factor but you are right still some lost elements here for the spirit boys magics in particular only four kills patsy's not lost in the pistol though straight flick to Dupree's head the cranium is decimated on the t side line the bomb can go down easily that's a fantastic start coming through from Spirit. A full charge in towards that B side. And now it comes down to the retake. Everyone trying to come through from mid and that CT spawn area. Set the line up for the retake. The utility in with the nades. Onto Magic's dead to right. It's on Apex. Patsy rounds that corner, but Sphinx deals with the Judy's as I will. Yet to even get started. Flicking back as Wonderful turns into a 3v3 and doubles up to two now. Magic's and Sphinx moving their way forward. Sphinx caught off. Magic's go low now. A one on three for his own right. Taps on the head of the first man, but cannot get the second or the third. And that's another pistol. Four for four for Spirit now. Hey, got to think for Vitality, are they going to force it up? Do they want to try and put that pressure on the CT side, knowing how much success they've been on those force by rounds in the past? The Spirit came through with just an electric opening kill. How fast that was from Patsy out of the gates and the B stairs. And then, of course, wonderful, just capitalizing from the back of Generator's position. Start coming together for Spirit, despite the small bounce back there for Vitality. And this time, without a bomb plant bonus, there will be no heavy reinvestment. Eco pistols, which have still pulled off some impressive feats so far in the series. The Spirit most certainly have the firepower advantage for round 17. Even the mid-walk trying to come through from Spirit. You start entertaining the idea of a split B play. And if that comes through, Jay, this might get a little bit deadly because there is a B stack involved right now for Vitality. Meaning the sirens slow and sure. Burst through, kill found, dealt with by Magisk with a little bit of support from his teammates. Of course, Apex caught by Wonderful, a four on three. That's the next player for two now. Magic's falls. So does Sphinx. And there's not much effort in Dupree's part of things. Patsy gets at least a bonus little bit of cash with the Mac 10 involved. Even grab, grab that last rifle. So all four main weapons stay in play for Spirit. And Vitality get their guns out. Now, Spirit are currently ranked first in the event on their T side for the highest percent of rounds where they won the opening duel. This is something that can really be exploited, you've got to imagine here for Vitality, trying to get Zywu into some aggressive positions, try and shut that down, because that's something that Spirit are going to be working quite hard on, this second half of just maintaining five on four situations for the majority of it. Quickly in for the engagements towards the ramp control for Spirit and Vitality. No warps this time for either side, so no definitive opening frags that we saw from Wonderful in that first half. And Zywu can't replicate that in this moment. Still be there alongside Apex to try and provide the covering fire. Support flashing ahead of the smoke. Patsy gets one. Heard Apex. Knows that he's around there at 51 somewhere, but the count of smokes keep him covered off. It doesn't 
really have a support of the teammate. Gonna go in by himself with the flash assist. End up falling back. That's a good little play there from Apex. Perfectly played on Patsy and recognized where he was to continue the spray from safety behind the tops. Backs off towards the main site for a lot more central site control. A four on four ensues. They've got some utility as well to suppress them back here. The smoke in on Apex's part. Wonderful thinks there's a flashbang, but it's just a little bit of covering fire, and I think I actually missed the notch there. Deep ramp smoke with a boost up over the top. They need to watch out for the alley entrance, though. Chopper caught up for it. Indeed, they account for that. Two standing here for Spirit. They are doing damage through the wall bangs, but they need to get the kills. Magics and Siren yet to see these CT individuals. 40 seconds, two on two, but it's such low HP for the T side here. They're trying to bait the nades and the incendiaries. They could get thrown down and get Siren's casualty, but they're going to run that timer even lower for it. Knowing the incendiary is still in play. As soon as they hear that bomb get tapped another time, it could just get baited forward. Just gets put out early instead. Siren's still alive, but not for much longer. He peeks out against Sphinx, and Magic's so far away. 15 seconds, the bomb in the open. He knows that he can't get oh. back to it in time. It's going to have to be a save call, a 10th for Vitality. Again, Spirit allowing the timer to bite them on T side. I really thought he was going to go for it there. 1v2, you've got information that Sphinx is at orange. You know that Dupree's out into the elevators. Thought you might have a little bit of confidence to back yourself, but no. Ops to go for the save. And now the force up. It's going to be rough looking. There really isn't a crazy amount of money to work with. You wonder what's going to be on the line there for Siren and Wonderful. There's going to be a lack of nades, that's for sure. 10 to 8. Indeed, they will have a full set for Wonderful, a three set for Patsy. Look at how quickly Chopper's going to make his way up here for the entry frags. They have unaware of how close the CTs really are. Spinks with his double. Chopper and Siren dealt with in an instant. A five on three for Vitality. What a statement that is. And just the distraction that comes through. Apex with a flash. Jiggle peeking down on that mid corner. Escaping back over to Guardian. And then Spinks in the off angle. Allows himself a multi-frag. Boost up over towards the B side. It's been seen. And just more damage has been returned. Spray through to 44 points of health. Taps on, the nades coming back, the M4 still trying to engage here for Sphinx. But just can't seem to spot them, just can't seem to catch them. Zaiwu down to five points of health next and does get dealt with by Patsy, so at least there's something back here for the T-side line. But a lot more work for Spirit to do. Does actually get slightly aggressive there for Vitality, even though they've got a two-man advantage, and now they're starting to get punished for it. You lose Zaiwu towards the top of ramp, you lose the B-side player of Sphinx. Now, Magisk has not been seen out towards his sandbags position just yet. Now, keep in mind, there was always a lack of util in this round off the outset. No molly, only a smoke, and a double flash to work with. And so far, so silent and uncontested. Magisk is thinking of moving forward here. This flashbang of a wonderful and Magix gets caught for it. Great kill. Nade back towards the sandbags. Get some damage on the time though. Magix has fallen. The bomb can go planting. Patsy's getting aggressive. Very aggressive. Got to be lethal for this frag. And he hears the man as well. Slow rotates in with a spray. Easy pickings. Apex caught out in the open. Undetected by Spirit so far. But one swing is all they're going to need. So he leans in. AK in hand, but ultimately going to get out of dodge and save his weapon. Can see another round to the Spirit side, who bring us back to nine, back to a single round difference. Vitality hold the lead, but only for now. That's got to be so frustrating there for Zonic, because I don't know why Vitality are so aggressive. The fact that Sphinx gets two kills in mid, why are you contesting aggressively towards ramp? Why are you contesting aggressively towards a B side? Play a passive. Allow the crossfires to get set up, and that round is yours. Instead, I think they get too hungry. Maybe think that they just wanted to get that round over and done with. Yeah, for me, it was one right there. Sphinx got his double. The fact they didn't take it does indicate some major mistakes. I think you bang on the money with that. Let's look at the buys of Vitality as well. Apex's AK looks to be the only thing in play for them. $1,900 a loss bonus means that they can walk into the next round with a decent basis. Look how quickly and efficiently Spirit should dismantle the CT side for it, though. Dupree already down. Spinks, I believe, was spotted or detected by somebody out there. There's playing towards the banger position. Molotovs are missing out on them, unfortunately, though. So Spinks take nades and wallbang sprays in the end. Will drop, so formalities to be maintained by Spirit. And now lifelines are starting to get gained here by the CIS squad to really start bringing in the comeback, to start putting the threshold down on this second map of the series to force it to a third. 
Apex probably just trying to hold on to that AK once again. Look for some exit damage, perhaps. 10 to 10. And while it looked like Vitality had the opportunity to start running away with this second half and just gain that momentum round after round, it's been answered back. And now Spirit are putting up a fight. A much closer affair than what we saw on the first map. So maybe there is still a chance the Spirit could pull something out of the hat here. 10 all to the board. AKs are out across the board as well. Still no warp for Wonderful. Can't afford it just yet. Same can't be said for Vitality. Those I was bringing the, big, bringing, bringing the big green into the play here for round 21. No helmets, but connect it. Just think about the early map control being gained towards the bottom of the B stairs. And Spinks finding that opener. An aggressive mid play by himself. That's high risk, high reward. Second time he's gone aggressive in mid, and this time even more so because he went all the way around the corner and running out that fight. Siren having no backup, and look at how far he extends. He's going down the stairs and into spawn. And this is where he can start putting pressure on the backstabbing players. No one's really watching out for it. He's got bomb control. Oh, oh this is lovely. I think Spirit are accounting for the idea that you might have pressed the issue as well. You can see them having their eyes on. They start to rotate away from Bridge, though. So I have a feeling that this is where this round is going to get won by Vitality. Spinks may have done it on his own. And now the mid players are just aggressing because there's so much info with that bomb spot. You don't even need to hold B. You can just hold the bomb. This is a fantastic mid round call right now for Vitality. Crossfire lock between Apex and Spings. You've got Magisk also watching the potential rotates from up in the ladder room. Got Magix on the T side trying to lean into the B side where you have got Dupree even more pa passive. So they're not even going to catch him on an easy trade or find some sort of way to win out the duels and make this round doable. In 30 seconds, one of them's about to find out the hard way that he is in for a world of hurt. Spinks with the kill, and from here, the round should be lost. And this is a safe call pretty much instantly. And they had no idea that that bomb had been seen. And the reason for that is because it's so slow. If they had an idea that Spinks might have still got aggressive and perhaps gone all the way down to T-Spawn, they would have been more pacey in the matter. The way that they're still lurking on A, they're gaining map control over towards B, gave the indication that they had no idea that Spinks had aggressed that far. That round was won by Spinks on his lonesome. Individually, numbers game, I test all working well for him. 17 kills deep so far, which isn't quite the highest frag on the board for the entire server, but it certainly is for Vitality. And despite of that incredible round win, they have got a tactical pause called in for them. Now just take a moment to settle themselves, because they've had a few rounds here in the second half where they've had advantages, haven't really come through. And Spinks has obviously been quite an impactful player, especially towards that mid portion spirit it's not out of the realm a possibility that they do take it to a third map this sort of situation down by one round your money's still good to get a buyback even with saving players but vitality no we can't give them leverage we can't give them an opportunity to come back into their own because we were kind of even entertaining the idea of double digits at the turn of the half only was nine two rounds have been gained on the city side not consecutively so maybe that's why the tacticals come through as well jay to get rounds one in a row well, five more in a row we put them past the finish line and end this in 2-0 fashion right now there are a number of teams that really would hope the spirit would lose to make their journeys into the playoffs a little bit easier again they're tied up with Fnatic and navi right now on the table even teams like Endpoint and NIP might see Spirit as standing in their way. So to get this 2-0 done and focus on their own game. And certainly clear up the vision for us as the viewers. Damage done to Wonderful to start things off in this round. No kill just yet for Vitality. It is quite passive on the ramp take considering how many ramp players there actually are for Vitality. You've got no mid player. The only presence over towards B is obviously Dupree quite deep. But they've got a setup in mind and the AWP to fire. Bay out, but still the kills coming for Apex and Zaiwu. Two dropped, three dropped, no trades found by Spirit. They'll try to look out towards me, but Dupree has that marked. And Magic's in a one on five. No way. Nothing he can do here. And Magic's is just hoping for any sort of overpeak. Any one of these low HPs to try and see if he can fight. You can hope and pray, but he'll get very little out of it. 30 seconds left. Even then, the CTs have adjusted towards him. You've got players extended out towards mid. The AWP in particular just watching, waiting for him to prop out. He is on the boost, so he might give up a ghost on some sort of pickback here, but unlikely even that happens. 
Flip step would have been heard there by Apex. But no one's going to go for the hunt here. Vitality still a little bit shaky on the money line. Let this weapon stay in for Spirit. But get to 12 to 10. Again, you mentioned that they want to string rounds together in a row. To do that, you need the confidence of the setups. And that might be the best tactical that they've had all series. How much you've actually created out of that last round. And think about the setup. You've obviously got three towards ramp side of the sandbags and one in towards the alley entrance. The AWP actually got baited. That first jump up to the ramp sandbags baited the AWP and you start thinking, oh, is that where the setup breaks apart? No. Apex gets that first kill. Zywu gets into the mix. Then Spinks from Ali is able to open up. Even Dupree, the only B player that was playing out there from mid was able to find success. And now for Magisk. You start thinking up against the M4 Magics. Is there anything to be created? Anything at all in this round? Patsy gets the kill. Starting things off with the pistols of the Rona Accord and Magics can get a trade back onto Debris, make it a three on three. B site has also been opened up as a result of that pick. So there is a bomb plan that can be gained and an extra M4 for Wonderful who does get forced away. So the plant is denied for the time being as Apex strikes in mid, removes the one lurker, a siren. Another incendiary to come down as well. Just try and stop this bomb plant as much as possible. Deny any extra cash. Maybe have to rely a lot on the uh, frags of magics here. Pushed up in a corner. Wonderful further nades. More utility being pulled down. Finally, Magisk catches Magics instead. You thought that finally there would have been a chance right there for the kills to start pouring the way of spirit. But not to be. At least they got a bomb plant for the eco. That would have been the perfect steal round. You think about that in mind, you've got a couple of upgrades, not really much. You've obviously got that saved in M4. You get a couple of kills, you start getting the site control. The problem is, because they haven't baited enough util out of the rotating players, and it was really just a press towards the top of the stairs, there's just so much counter utility. The incendiaries, the HGs, and it slows the round down. It brings all of that momentum out of the fold, and now another tactical pause coming in from Vitality almost makes you wonder, where are the pauses here from spirit yeah i mean i was thinking a similar thing as well because i'm sat here just like hold on a second boys like this is not exactly uh working out at the moment didn't take many tacticals in the first map i don't think they've taken a single one maybe one so far here on vertigo vitality using every single one to allow themselves to discuss things and it does mean the spirit have a number in the back pocket until the very end With three rounds difference for me, now would have been the perfect time to call one. They're opting against doing so, though. AKs, Galil's out. Broken by versus the double orps of Vitality. Yeah, speak about difference. What about these double orps? Haven't seen any of it in the first map or in the second. Knowing that Dupree's an anchor player out towards the B side, it provides a little bit more of a unique sequence that we haven't seen. Already damage being done to Magix here on the spirit side. Molotov is being sent down towards his position as Wonderful tries to rotate and join the main T side force. The bomb should get picked up by him. One of four AKs in play for Spirit. But when do they make their move? Now, there should be a lobbing HE coming through from Apex, but it's, what time does it come in? Is it a flash over the top? Is it a slight peak on a contact? Seems like Spirit want to regain that ramp control a little bit later into the round. Play it a bit more passively. Even Zywu can peek on the AWP contact towards Ali. All a matter of timing. Or bin, perfect shot, wonderful down. Perfect timing on the AWP. Patsy, seen. Magisk knows what's going on. We'll put the nades back towards Apex, of course, at the sandbags. He'll still lean in with the Incendia. He's about to come back down against him. A counter nade comes out. And that should do some damage to Patsy, but nothing critical. They might just have to commit here towards ramp. They're getting chunked up now. Dupree with the orb catches the lurk out towards the B site. At least there's an entry from Patsy. Responsive back for a two-for-one trade, but now he needs to focus on the next man. He almost got Apex, but switched to the smoke at the wrong moment. So now the big cross has been locked out. Counter smoke down to the smaller one, and still players set up towards his alley position. Zywu's orb leaning closer, landing on Siren, and looking back to the site to focus on even more Apex. Going to charge forward ahead with the incendiary. Chopper gets his kill. Zywu backs off. Chopper gets Spinks as well. Ten seconds, but Patsy's down, and Chopper's got two points of HP to win a 1v2 clutch. They know what's going on. On. They'll just tap their way and slow things down, disallow the plant, and disallow the rounds.
both of those orbs just finding so much impact. And you can see the way the CTs are trying to run through that smoke. Not to deny the bomb, but to give Zyru assistance to scramble, to really panic the T's on the side. And for Zyru, he just ends up backing off, realizes that Dupree's in a rotating position. He can get out towards heaven in that sniper's nest angle and just play the time. Chopper tries to fake the bomb plant, draw the fight out to the open, and it just doesn't happen. And you even look at the end of that round. How's there not a tactical? 10-14 down. The momentum's been lost. The money's been lost too. Spirit in dire straits now. Vitality looking at map and match point here. The gun by just doesn't mount up to the challenge of denying such a position. Spirit, a Deagle and a MAC-10, a highlight around the rifles of which there are still two Galils. And look at Zywe pressing further forward, desperate to get a kill back. Hungry for a kill to start things off and set Vitality up for victory row. Swing out from the M4 there with the flashbangs and magics. We'll get that one good kill. Wonderful and Patsy with two on the response. Now, this is not ideal at all here for Vitality. They've still got Zyru down onto the site and Rotator's coming. But man advantage here for Spirit. They just need to close the round down. Zyru did so much here from Ali. The Molotov's being sent up and over towards Tarks instead of landing outside of Ali entrance. And that gives Zyru the path window to make it two and three sirens down wonderful can't live up to his namesake sirens at least missed a shot to the flashbang but it won't matter because sphinx is there to cover him and vitality have map points he has been absolute class in this best of three across the first map into the second and because they missed that util it means that he can keep swinging out to the left hand side that one molly was the difference the difference of putting pressure down to Zyru and it gets missed. It gets popped in the open and he does that against you. 15 to 10. One more to go for the European squad. Wasn't even top fragging partial to that round. And here he stands to stand up. Wreck team spirit. Five map points and match points in this series. And the CIS squad are left with nothing. Surely this is the end. Even the util towards the top of the ramp is going to start to clear. More counter utilities gone down towards the beast. There's Apex with the spam getting close to Patty's position. Even further damage down to 30 now. Tagged up. And not dead yet. Magic's the contrary to that point though. Dupree with his pick. One out of five found by Vitality. And this is getting very uneasy now for Spirit. The lack of nades, no nades for an XE. It's just dry faces. And this is where hero plays have got to come into the fold. Someone needs to step up individually. Who's it going to be, though? If anyone at all. Siren, the most likely with the AK in hand, but he's already missed his shot. Does find Dupree. Still a player to find in Magisk. Sees them all. Three-man crossfire lot. The flashbang provides support for Sphinx's AWP. Chimes back. Shots in from the CT forces. Apex provides a little bit more, but gets traded by Wonderful. A two-on-two. -two, 20 seconds. Sphinx sees one. Lands on Wonderful. And it's both the Orpa standing to close this series out of Vitality. 13 seconds. And Siren leans around the corner. Desperate for Vice. Zywoo sees Spinks, but Zywoo's there for the trade. 16 to 10, Vitality will eliminate Spirit in the 2-0. They are out of the ESL Pro League. Done and dusted. Vitality close it when it matters most. And when you think about that map, there were even a couple of steals. You had that one round where Wonderful got an ace. Another one where I think there was three saved in players. A USP even found a couple of kills. But towards the end of that half, that round streak that closed it, that's where we saw Vitality.